Hey guys, uh, today I want to do a tutorial on the Clyde by Skillet. Uh, so basically, I'm going to be playing this in C minor. And so basically what we want to talk about today is the intro, verses, chorus, bridge, uh, try to get it all. I have a piano teaching example linked below, so you can kind of see everything uh, put together in one go. Uh, kind of see some tricks that I put in there. All right, so basically the first thing is, is the very intro. Um, so what you want to do is you want to play a C minor chord, then A flat major, E flat, and B flat. And you'll be playing this throughout the entire song, um, variations of this. So for beginners, you can just do like a C minor, an A flat, E flat, So um, basically what you want to do here is start with the beginning with the melody on your right hand. Okay, so what I did there is I went G, C, E, E flat. So um, let's try this again. Try to slow that down a little bit more, uh, but you're going to be repeating this a lot. That's why I'm trying to really nail this part. So C, E flat, okay. So uh, you repeat that again a second time. So the G, C, E flat, then G, C, F, E flat, G, C, E flat, G, C, G, F, E flat, D. Okay. Repeat again. come in and uh, the higher violins and for that I just do an octave so what I did there is I just did an arpeggio of C minor so I went and then I went just uh, thumb on C index finger on G pinky on C okay so I tried to do that a little slowly So let me uh let me like let me, let me just try to play this fully so you guys can get it. So the B is as you know the G C. I just do a rock back and forth, just I feel like it gives it more of a you know feeling to it. Then this is the part that goes da 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 da. Now for a beginner you can just play up here, just play one note. 
So I start with a C here and here, A flat. So, so let's start from the beginning. Okay, I'll repeat that a little bit more slowly. So no same chords on my left, but my right hand was a little bit different. Okay, then I go to a B, an A flat here, because I'm on the A flat chord. Okay, so I initially on the C minor chord went C, E flat, D, C, then you would go A flat, B e flat, B e flat, A, then B flat, set. So I'll do it a little bit slowly. A flat. So, sorry, I, just, I have to kind of play it to get it. B flat. F, F up here. Okay, sorry about my singing, not a singer. Um, then you repeat it again. Is up here, so okay, so you kind of get that, and then you can jump. I think in the video, I like jump with my left hand, I go like jump, jump, and I jump again. That's a like a technique that you can learn as well. Uh, it's not that difficult. Um, just takes practice, honestly. Uh, and, you know, I make mistakes all the time too, so uh, just for practice. Um, so, let, so what we've done so far is learn the part up until the verse. So now we're gonna talk about the verse. Um, the, like the we are falling. Um, so that part. So you're gonna start with the C minor chord, A major, E flat, then B flat. Same chord progression. A, A flat. Okay, so I just did G, G, and then F. So then. to a B flat, an F, G, and an F, G. We can take it. So just a trembling between E flat and D. Then I usually hit a B flat here, just to give it more with my thumb. I hit the C as like a harmonic, but you don't have to hit that C, so I just go like... Then that goes... into the chorus. So something deep inside. Sorry if I'm going this fast, you can rewind at certain parts. Just want to make sure people can kind of move through this if I'm like boring them. Um, so the something deep inside, you're going to keep the same chord progression. Nothing, nothing new here. C, A flat, B flat, B flat. <clears throat> and then you're going to go C. Something deep inside. <clears throat> Sorry, it's on my throat. So what I did 
it there is I'm just sticking in this same region right here. I'll do it again. I'll kind of try to explain, say the notes, um, like note for note. So maybe that that will give you like some type of uh, explanation. So, uh, so there's something deep in it. So E flat, D, C, C, B flat, B flat on the left. Have been like, you know, throw something in there, uh, doesn't matter. Something E flat, D, C, C, E flat, E flat, D, E flat, and B flat, G, F, E flat, and F, E, uh, e flat, F. like an outro part so the first repeats we are healing but that that whole point is um just the repeat you just repeating the same stuff we learned in the first verse so um you know you can just backtrack in the video for that um what you want to learn though is the bridge part because uh, that's the part you guys don't know yet so bridge uh, not too difficult um, so you're going to do the same chords the C, A flat, E flat, B flat okay so I'll slow that down violins are coming in and you do the same thing that you did at the very beginning of the song so that's just the octave part you throw an E flat in there if you want but I'm just doing an arpeggio of C minor and then you do the da da and then it just kind of builds up now for a build up I do this a lot in all my songs that I do for like teaching uh, I you're in the C minor uh, chord or key so what you want to do is usually you're using like C minor A flat E flat and B flat for your chords but I instead go F minor G minor A flat and then B flat so that kind of builds it up so when, he, when there's the drum part and it's like how long and then boom, it hits the chorus. That part where it's building up, you want to do like F minor, G flat, or G minor, A flat, A flat. And then drop, bass drop. Okay, and keep going. Um, so, all right, I guess I, ho I hope that helps. I mean, the rest, you know, the, there's no really difference on the third final chorus, so nothing really go over there. Uh, so just let me know if you guys have questions. Hope this helped. Uh, again, there's a piano teaching example linked down below, so you can see how this is all mashed together. All right, guys, hope this helped. Thanks.